Stephen Singh, founder and strategist at Inspirio. You have been leading a social business change for the Danish company Novozymes. What did you do? Yeah, good question. We did a lot of things. So we started by actually getting the understanding in place of what strategic social media is. What we typically realized, what we realized that typically that B2B companies would do is jump in with social media right away and engage and then there would be a very reactive mindset to it. Um, but we quickly um, grasped the knowledge and understood that we had to be proactive with it. And that means we had to listen first, map, understand the influence around the conversations and the people who have mattered to the Noah's business. And that's how we started. All right. Uh, so yeah, Novozymes is a very typical business-to-business -business, uh, yeah. company. In your opinion, what is it that, uh, what is it about business-to-business, business-to-business social media that companies fail to understand? So what companies fail to understand is that B2B is a lot like B2C as well. So it's about. I think you've seen this before. Maybe it's human to human. That's the change. So B2B is basically about a lot of relationship building and social media is made for relationship building. And in those relations, there's power influence and there are different dynamics that can be sort of managed and also understood that B2Bs are not taking advantage of enough today. Can you say that in, uh, while make, using social media for uh, business to business companies, mm -hmm. you, you, you gotta reach the right people mm -hmm. more than reaching as many people as possible? Exactly. And, and, how do you, and how do you do that? So reaching the right people is about also understanding who are the ones that are right for you. Sometimes the right people might not seem like the right ones. Are they the people influencing them that are the right ones? Because always you cannot just pick up a phone call and call someone and saying, hey, I want to do business with you. Sometimes you have to understand that each other are basically you know, experts and you can provide services for each other and establish a relationship that way through your service expertise and your market knowledge and thought leadership, for example. Yeah, and, and for example, for Novozymes, who could that be? It could be a lot of people. So it could be potential partners, um, for example, in our in our innovation portfolio, we could have basic very thought leading tracks and we need external think tanks, that could be one. We could also look at potential PR and communication partners. We could also basically find potential new development markets, for example, in Africa, India, China, new emerging markets where we need new investments in certain areas. So uh, if, you, if you were to sum up, what were the most important lessons while working with Novozymes yeah. strategic social media? My first most important lesson was that I did not get enough management buy-in. I think that was also a little bit my um, lack of um, prediction that they would not be having such good understanding of it. Um, so I overestimated the understanding of it. And maybe the context of the, you know, the key goals, for example, when, when we prioritized business goals first and made social media programs directly related to those key business priorities, the value of that was not so appreciated. Also, when we got the team together, a cross-functional working team, that was the first time in the history of Noozams that we had a cross-functional working teams that broke some silos that were working together. And there was a lot of knowledge sharing going on there. So some key management themes that as a consequence of strategic social media was something that we learned. How would you say uh, Novozymes as a company and their relationship to their customers has, has moved, has transformed since you started their strategic social media? Well, most importantly is now we are having a good online relationship with our customers. We know all the top media online and we are commenting on their blogs, they're posting us, they're sharing our stories on their comments, they're tweeting us. So that's very, very important because now online we have great visibility and we have great grasp and presence in the conversations that matter. And, is it, and can, can you see it in the company's earnings? Of course. <laughs> it's not hard to make that, it's not easy to make that link. But when you look at, for example, our commercial pilot where we focus on lead generation, we developed or generated more leads than the traditional way of generating leads at a cheaper and faster rate. Now, of course, it takes at least six to eight months to close a lead, but the process up to getting there was much more cost effective and strategic than the traditional way of doing it.